Okay, it's time for a quick lighting tutorial because it looks like we've got a couple seconds for extras come running up. All right, so here's what we have going on. So here's the scene. Camera's back here. So there's camera. And it's on this nice dolly. And uh, I'm getting blasted here, but we have these two windows, or three windows. And we're going to have all these guys sitting at this table here. And they're going to be doing whatever gangsters do at a table. But we want to be really contrasty and really um, kind of moody. So, but the way the, pos the table's positioned and stuff, we can't necessarily use the window light as the key. A little bit of a, use them as a kicker, but once we, or a rim, but once we uh, had them open, it was just way too much. So right now we have these, these like curtains over top. We have some kind of plastic diffusion over that to kind of drop it down. Otherwise, behind it is just regular glass window light. On this window, we didn't put the plastic because it was, you know, we need a little bit of, there we go, see? We need a little bit of uh, more volume off this because I have these flow boxes um, acting as the key light. It's not really the key light. It is the key light because it's the most, it's the most substantial source coming in. But we're really going for kind of hard. You can see it on the iPhone a little bit. Nice hard light on this side, a little bit of uh, fill on that side. So, guys at the table, big flow. These were supposed to be the 800 Jokers, so a little bit a harder HMI. But the the Jokers, the, the one we had isn't working. I'm worried about blowing the circuits with a couple 1200s. We're in an old building in Salt Lake. So, turn into flow boxes, which is it's going to work out. So, the flow boxes are acting as our key from that side on the table. Um, let's see if you can see it at all on the monitor. So you can kind of see uh, we have it dark on this side, lighter on this side, but it was a little bit too dark on this side, so we threw up a another flow box and bounced into the wall. So it just raised the ambient level just a little bit into this corner because it was too dark. And then because the guy's sitting here at these chairs, I want them to be edged. Now you can see that green on my hand. Those. Uh, um, the Kino bowl is a little bit green. We have an FNV LED, so it's a small source. It's going to be nice and kind of hard on his face right there. Um, in addition to that, we have another. This is a light panel, one by light panel. So this is the expensive version, non-expensive version. I like these a lot better. The output's better. They're lighter. Um, they're not as expensive. But we have a set of these too. But this is on a battery right now, so it's convenient. So I threw some orange on this. So when we pump, uh, pump in for tights, um, we can throw a little color so it's acting like this window is maybe is, is showing a little bit of bright, uh, some light on them, so it's interesting too. So when we punch in for tights, we'll readjust a little bit. We'll throw the orange kind of as a rim and bring in the, the, the panels in so it looks more interesting. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you, though. So you, you I only I only this, have this I only have this video. much to go. Yeah, so, so that is say cool. hi to the folks at home. Hello, everyone. Um, we're liking the F and V. Yeah, we are. We're loving. It. Oh, there we go. Now we can see us. We're, yeah, we we were. It seems a little brighter, even though it's a smaller light configuration than the full, well, year two old light panel. Exactly. Yeah. Right, let's see. Anything else that we did lighting wise in here? And you know, this isn't the final. We don't have. We don't have the, the A team in here, so we don't know what they're looking like because they may have a little bit different complexions than our stand ins. So that's just the initial setup. And we get them in here, we'll just do some tweaking, and then we'll go. So hopefully, I'll have a couple seconds just to show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll try and get on monitor when they sit down. But that's where we are for now. That's how you light a gangster cartel table. Okay, folks, so here I'm going to try and just show you, get a basic idea of what we've got. Um, what we ended up doing is once they all got on there, in there, is uh, Oscar here, he's the guy in blue. He was too dark, so we ended up putting this, where is it? This behind the sound guy. This LED behind him being a special just so we could kind of make sure we have, we're showcasing his face. And then you can see on the cowboy back here, uh, I pushed our one of our um, flow boxes in, so we had some nice highlight on his face there. And then we had to be careful. This guy was stacking up against this guy, so he keeps hiding his light. 
And then we also made sure that this second, or the first FNV LED we had, was given this guy who's kind of our main guy, some nice feel on his face there too. But uh, let me see if I can give us an idea of what we got. And, and the iPhone won't give it justice, but the move went something like this. So, moving, let's see. Forward. Whoops. There we go. Scooting ahead. Okay, so there we go. So, as you push in. No, no, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Yes, sir. Oh, did I uh, give? Yeah, <laughs> you did. I gave you the wrong side. I apologize. Look, they fixed that cable for me, and I gave them the wrong side. So now we have two males. There you go. Good job, anyway. The other one's in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But uh, really quick. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit your fingers. Okay. That's basically what it's looking like. Okay, hey guys, so now we've pushed on to um, our singles coverage, and um, the only thing I adjusted light wise. We're, gonna, we're not going to repeat, we're going to re repeat four I times. I took this colored LED and I brought it in just so we had some color on the back of his head, and then um, made sure that he was getting a nice highlight on this side. We changed to the 85. on the camera, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it, um, you know, more, it's, I can go down to a one, two on that, so you kind of see what it's looking like, it's hard to see on the phone, but there you go, so a single on him as you go through it, okay, so now we've turned around, and we're getting the reverse, uh, Danny Trio's going to come walking down the hallway, with two robots. It's going to be awesome. And uh, the lighting change at the lighting setup hasn't changed much except for we've just tweaked a couple little things. So now we're on the back side of all these people. The two uh, flow lights are still the same. I've just put this um, double net in front of it to take the light off this guy that's too hot because we slide all the way down there with the dolly. I turned our LEDs around. We still had this one on Oscar. He's this guy because we were just doing a uh, tight pickup of him. And then this light, I just turned against the wall to kind of give some ambient bounce off on the girls' backs as we come across them. So my phone died just a second ago, but basically um, opened that window up a little bit so we had some light on our girls in the back. And then I can't remember if I mentioned, but we just dialed in that F and V. 
from Mr. Trio when he steps up for his hero shot right there. And that's basically all we did for this setup. Is leave it the same. We're on a wide shot. We're going to bounce back and forth. Um, and Robot's going to come in. It's going to be awesome. So the funny thing is, is that sometimes you get really creative about how you're going to do a turnaround. But if you can keep it as simple as possible and leave things where they are, then you can be quicker. But it's got to look right. It's got to match. And... Uh, that's where a meter actually comes in handy is, you know, visually, nowadays we do things all visually, what you see is what you get, but sometimes I carry a light meter and I'll me meter people's faces, so on the one direction, it was a certain f uh, stop on the actor and we turn around and we'll make sure I'm still matching that same exposure. Not doing that today. Do it. set. what I'm talking about! So what Nick is doing is swapping out our lens for the 85 because now what we've done is we cleared out that last take. You can see we cleared out the table because we want to be in front of all the people so we can have this hero shot of all these droids walking up with Danny Trail because there are going to be these robots next to him. And my phone's going to die any second, but you can see over there we put all these tracking markers. Let's see, where are they? They're over here somewhere. Um, little green X's. They're going to be pain to clean up in post, but they're good to have because then we can track what the camera's doing in 3D space. You don't necessarily need them 100%. There's a lot of things in here to track, but they definitely make it easier to specifically pinpoint surfaces and walls that will tell the camera what's happening to the real camera, this camera, in 3D space. So there you go. Now we're just going to punch in tighter on an 85, so before it was a wide, tighter, Super tight now on Mr. Trejo, so it's a zero shot. And oh, camera needs a new battery.